Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use Firebase real-time database in your Flutter application. In order to use Firebase services like real-time database, it's required for your Flutter application to install and configure Firebase SDK. If you're not sure how to do the installation of Firebase to your Flutter application, feel free to check out the previous tutorial, which I will pin on the top right. Before we start, if you like our video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In this tutorial, we will be using Firebase database package, which you can find in pub.dev. Don't forget to add the latest package dependency into your Flutter project. As you can see, there is a package dependency called Firebase Core is added as well. Firebase Core is the package used to configure and initialize Firebase services. Check out the video tutorial pin on top right for guides on how to install and configure Firebase. On the code side, I have created a simple Flutter app and also initialized Firebase app using Future Builder. And this code initialization, you can find it in the previous tutorial while waiting for the app to be built. In this Flutter app, I have also created a simple UI with two tags and a button. Let me make the font size of the text bigger. Next, we need to create a database in Firebase real-time database. Go to your Firebase console, and here I have created a real-time database. If this is your first time, you can click on Project Overview and look for Build, and under Build, there is a real-time database. Click on Create Database, and it will create a database instance with nothing inside as it's shown in the screen with null. Beside the null, uh, there is an add button. And when we click on it, we can add a key value pair to the real-time database. In this tutorial, I will be adding a count key with a random value. And now I will show you how to listen and only get once of this value in your Flutter application. Firstly, I will create two variables, one called real-time value and another one is get once value. Now I will pass the string value to each text so that it reflects in the app. Next, because we have initialized the Firebase app using Future Builder, now we can use the Firebase services directly. The first step is to create a Firebase instance reference. This reference, we just need to create once and we can pass it to anywhere that requires to read the Firebase value. And in this tutorial, we want to read the count value. So we will add, after the reference, we will add a dot child with a key name. And the key name is count is because we have created a key value pair in real-time database just now in Firebase console with the key name of count and a random value of 10. It basically tells that this reference that we created is referencing to a key name count. Now I will show you how to listen to Firebase real-time database value. 
using the reference that we created just now, we can call dot on value dot listen method, which will return a snapshot event. And using the snapshot event, we can update the string value with the snapshot value retrieved from the Firebase reference. And this is how we listen to Firebase real-time database value. Now, when we do a hot restart, as you can see in the simulator, the real-time counter value has changed to 10. And because we are listening to the value, when we go back to the real-time database and change the value, it will reflect immediately in the app without any action needed because it's a real-time database. But not every time you would like to listen to the value real time. What happens if you just want to get the value for once? Now I will show you how to use the Firebase reference to get the value for once. Instead of calling dot on value dot listen, there is a method called dot get. And this dot get method will retrieve the real time value for just only one time. And this method will return a future value. Don't forget to add a weight in front of the method. Next, we need to check if the get method actually retrieves something or it retrieves nothing. If it has value, then we will update the get once value string that we created just now to the snapshot value. If not, we will just print out a random text. Now we can do a hot restart to the Flutter application. So right now, the Firebase real-time database count value is 20. And when I click on the get once button, the text below count value has changed from 0 to 20. Now, when I go back to the Firebase console and change the count value, as you can see in the app, the real-time counter value has changed to the new value, which is 88, while the get once counter value is still remain 20. And when I click again the get once button, the get once counter value has updated to the latest value. And this is the difference between listen and get method for Firebase reference. There are some cases where you need to listen and also some cases where you want to only get the value for once. For example, if you just want to check if it exists, getting one saves much more memory then keep listening to that value. A quick summary of what we have done in this tutorial. So we have added a Firebase database package. We have created a listener to listen to real-time value and a get once method to retrieve the value for only one time. In the next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a key value pair from the app and how to delete it. Here comes to the end of this tutorial. If you like my video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. See you in the next tutorial.